once there was a king and he had four wild horses the horses were of a very good breed but they were wild the king was looking for somebody to train them he called many trainers but no one could train them the horses would not allow anyone to sit on their back if someone tried to sit on their back they would jump and drop him down many people tried but no one could succeed in sitting on back of those horses one day the young man came to king's court and told the king that he can train his four horses king warned him and said before you many trainers came and got injured and some got seriously fractured but the man had full faith in himself and asked king to permit him to train his horses at last the king allowed the young man to try his luck but the young man put a condition that he will live with all the four horses and take care of them king agreed and gave him permission to take care of his horses several months passed and one day king came to see his horses in the yard he saw that the man was riding one horse and all the three horses were running behind him he was surprised but also very happy to see this because where everyone failed this young man has succeeded in training horses he asked the young man how did you train the horses the young man said my lord the horses were really wild therefore first i tried to get acquainted with these horses for this i left the horses in a ground freely and then i started imitate the horses when they ran i also used to run when they would sit i would also sit when they would sleep i would also sleep and when they would eat i would also eat this way i started to imitate them whatever they would do after few days horses started thinking that he is also a horse like us eventually one day i put seat belt on its body at first horse refused to wear seat belt but after few attempts of few days they got used to it after that i sat on their back for few days and after few days i started riding them like this i trained all the four horses in few months then he rode all the four horses one by one in the front of king seeing this the king became very happy and gave many prizes to this young man and also made him permanent trainer of all of his horses if we see in our lives we will find that we all also have these four untrained horses inside our mind their names are anxiety anger jealousy and greed and your intellect is a trainer you must train these four horses with your intellect so that these four can remain in your control but for that first you have to be friends with these four first you have to understand these four horses well then you can control them first of all we will discuss about worry we all know that worry is not a solution of any problem but it will only complicate the problem we can control worry only with our positive thought try to find solution for your worry and always remember that like day comes after night similarly good time will come after hard time just wait patiently for the bad time to pass number 2 horse is our anger buddha always used to say that anger is such a fire in which the one who is angry burns first and then burns the other anger may not harm anyone else but the one who gets angry definitely suffers therefore whenever you get angry just think about the bad outcomes of anger and try to calm your mind by watching your breath by practicing slowly and slowly in this way you can control your anger number 3 horse is jealousy jealousy arises when you consider someone else better than you whenever 
jealousy arises within you always remember that comparison is a very foolish attitude because each person is a unique and incomparable once this understanding settles in you jealousy will disappear number 4 horse is greed human greed never ends no matter how much we may get but we always wish to get more and more many times in the desire to get more a person is deprived of what he has if you wish to earn money by doing hard work and by legal means then it is good but if you wish to earn a lot of money by illegal means and by shortcut then this is greed therefore always keep control on the horse of greed in your mind and try to be content and enjoy whatever you have if you can do this then you can also control these four horses of your mind with the rein of your intellect